Hi everyone, this is Josie with Scott Leroy Marketing and today I'm going to walk you through how to create a custom page on your website. First thing we always do is go to agent.kw.com. We're going to enter our username and password and click on sign in. Once we get to the next page, we're going to click on the consumer tab on the left hand side. And if you're not sure what each tab is, you can just hover over it and it will tell you. You can always click on the red KW square in the top left corner. And that'll just pop out and show you what each tab is. So for today, we're going to click on consumer. And the next thing we'll do is create a new page on the top right corner. We want this on our agent site as opposed to a landing page, which is a standalone page. You would use a landing page for an open house or something like that. So we'll click on create page. And the first thing we always do when we're creating a page is we rename it. So I'm going to show off my sold listings. So we're going to rename that page. In order for any page to save, you do have to have a widget. So for this one, we prefer using the download my app widget right here. And you can see that it's selected because it's turned to that teal color. So we're just going to grab it, drag it over. You can see the green ribbon. So that means it's in the right spot. And then we'll release. Next thing we do is we're going to click on content blocks. And for this page, we're going to use a text box. We just grab it. And this shows you that it's going to go above that widget that we just added and release. And we're going to get this page all ready to go. We're going to create our page on using a Google Doc. Um, and then we're going to bring it back over and copy it in there. So you're going to want to just log into Google and you're going to click on the box, the little squares right here. And we're going to go to Docs. We'll start a new, new document here. And we're going to call this Sold Listings. And then you can do all sorts of editing. You want to do all your editing within your document first before you bring it over to the command website. So for our font size, let's go 48 and let's make it bold and we'll center everything once we get it in. We're going to change our font size back. So when we're adding an image, you're going to want to do insert and then image and Unfortunately, copying and pasting will not work. So for today's purposes, we're going to click on upload from computer. First one I'm going to do is 123 Main Street. So I'll just grab that photo right there. And we'll label it. You can um, add your listing price if you'd like or sold price. We'll do sold for. And you can say which side you were on. OK. So that looks pretty good. We'll get everything centered once we get it all in. And we're going to go ahead and do one more image. So insert image, upload from computer. And this one's 456 Central Boulevard. So we'll get that added. See if we can bring that up here. There we go. And let's adjust our photo sizes a little bit. We just grab one of the corners here. Make sure we get them about the same size. And this is 456 Central Boulevard. Um, let's say 659 and that's the sold price.
And on this side, we represented the seller as well. Once we've got all that in there and it looks about right, I think I still need to size this a little bit, but that looks pretty good to me. We are going to click on Control A. And if you're using um, a Mac, you're going to want to use Command. I believe that's the equivalent of a Control button. Um, we are going to click on the Center Align. And that looks pretty good to us. Now we are going to, you have to use shortcuts. So we're going to do all these shortcuts. You'll be a pro by the end. We're going to do Control A for Select All. And then Control C, again, using a Mac, you're going to use Command. So we've just copied that over. Now we're going to come back over to Command. And we'll use Control V to paste that in. So there you go. Now you also have an option of adjusting the margins using the paintbrush option. And so for this, we just click on the little paintbrush in the corner, click on dimension. And for our width, this will just help it look better when it's on a mobile device. We're going to do a thousand for width. And for right, we're going to do type in auto. And for left margin, we're going to do auto as well and then just click off of it and that way you can see the margins are it's not as wide as it was before and this will make it a lot more aesthetically pleasing if you're looking at it from a mobile device and everything looks good so i'm going to go ahead and click on save changes yes i would like to publish my page once we're here we just click on add page in the bottom left and there's our page we just created. So click on sold listings and continue. And just name your page. This is what it will look like. The title is what it will be on the drop down menu. The slug, <clears throat> no special characters and no spaces. And this is how it will look when people are just looking at that page. And for the description, this is what uh, Google will show when they're searching uh, information on sold listings for Lori Godfrey. <clears throat> we'll do check out my sold listings, click on save. Once we're here, we're going to click on agent side site pages. And we can see our configured agent site here. And here's our sold listings. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to support at scottlorymarketing.com. Thank you so much.